What's going on, y'all? This Conway, a.k.a. Talk to him, Con, man. And I I know y'all watched that debate last night. I know y'all did. A lot of y'all going to lie and say, I don't care about voting. I'm not going to vote. My vote no matter. Shut the fuck up. We don't care about how you feel. We know you watched it. And at the end of the day, a lot of y'all that watched it, who don't like black women, who don't think a woman should be running for president, Y'all realize that the person that y'all following, Donald Trump, is an asshole. Is an asshole. But it's okay, because she dug walk cuz. He got so mad that he turned into a female. He said, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I'm not done talking. <laughs> Yo, turned into a female out there, bitch, man. I'm happy for Kamala Harris. Because, you know, a lot of him and a lot of his followers thought she couldn't defend herself. A lot of his followers felt though she was gonna go out there with a lot of black girl sassy ass magic. Nah. She was up there bitch like a auntie. You know what I mean? She was up there like a auntie. And he ain't answered none of the questions. They asked him, why did he veto? The bill. Why did he veto the bill for the border control? She said they had a plan. They brought it to the attention of the Congress. He made a phone call, and he they vetoed that shit. So while we sitting here complaining and saying Biden and, you know, the vice president didn't do nothing about the border, No. The Republicans didn't do shit about the border. They listened to that fearless leader who's a dickhead. And that's what happened. When you have a person like Doug Christie come out and champion Kamala Harris, you know you're in trouble. Because people like Doug Christie have followers like Trump who... Listen to everything that they say. A lot of y'all saying she didn't say a lot of policies. She did. She just didn't say my policy. But I don't hear none of y'all saying that Trump didn't have a policy. Because the only thing I heard him say was, when I'm the president-elect, when I'm the president-elect, then you'll hear my stories. You'll hear my policies. He didn't say shit about what he was going to do because he never had a plan, bro. He didn't have a plan four years. He was in office, and he damn sure don't have a plan for this four years. Like, stop playing yourselves, man. A lot of the Trump supporters, y'all really, y'all, some of y'all really just coming outside, bro. Some of y'all really just coming outside. Some of y'all really happy in the life that y'all at because y'all didn't have bullshit. You mean you 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 didn't have a life before as a child. A lot of us have lives before as a child, but again also gave us traumas with that. But we also lived before we were able to live fully, right? But a lot of people that follow Trump are boneheads, bro. Not saying all of y'all. Because some of y'all going to cry when y'all hear that. But not all of y'all. But but the thing is, man, a person who sat there that y'all followed didn't give y'all nothing. And yes, he was fact-checked because he was lying. Not because they were picking on him like some of y'all may say, oh, they was picking on him. No, they weren't picking on him. They were just letting him know, stop lying. Yeah, stop lying. Because you're lying, brother. You're, you're lying, brother. And that's what happened. All right, man. Like I said, let me know what y'all think, man. Did Kamala Harris do her thing? Did Trump do his thing? Or you still in up in the air because you're not sure? Peace.